Well, um, Alabaster Place, we began the ministry um, organization, if you will, back in 2002. Um, the Lord gave me a vision. Um, when I heard Alabaster Place, I wasn't quite sure, uh, you know, what I was supposed to do with it, but I just continued to do my research and things of that nature. And and um, I was actually working a corporate job and uh, stepped away from that and stepped right over into Alabaster Place, like I said, in 2002, drew out the plan, uh, put everything together as the Lord was leading me. And then in 2005, we actually launched forth the, the ministry. We started out um, at the Greater Cleveland Old location, which was at 945 um, Cleveland Avenue. And our mission was really just to educate our community on issues that relate to domestic violence and, and, and other issues that relate to abuse as a whole, because sometimes, you know, I found out that some people, you know, especially women, because, you know, right now it's like 85 percent women, 15 percent men um, are abused and they stay in and they don't realize why do I have to stay here or why? Why am I staying here? And so we wanted to just educate women, men, youth uh, on the different issues that relate to domestic violence. Why do I stay? You know, how can I get out? How can I continue my life? Uh, from this point forward. Um, I, I believe that this is a, a passion that was revealed to me some years ago, uh, of course, from the Lord that uh, just really caused me to launch out uh, with the ministry of Alabaster Place. And, and I believe it's because I was victimized uh, uh, during my early years um, by my uh, children's father. Uh, we were we weren't married at the time, but uh, nevertheless, um, you know, we had from one year to the next year of of abuse. When I had my first uh, child, I experienced abuse uh, with him, and we, of course, we we broke up, and but of course, we got back together, and I became pregnant again a second time, and and the abuse continued. And needless to say, I didn't have anyone to really talk to me, you know, and, and, and uh, to share with me, you know, Arlene, you know, do you realize that you are a victim of abuse? You know, I didn't have anyone to talk to me about that. So, you know, I really had to just kind of go through this uh, the best way I knew how. But nevertheless, uh, one day, um, unfortunately, uh, I was beaten uh, by my children's father and left in the alley. Uh, for dead, I, I think. Uh, but nevertheless, um, it was just like a light bulb went off in my head one day. And I d decided that, you know, this can't be the best of life. This can't be the best thing that life has to offer me. That's got to be something else out here. And, and I don't know what I'm going to need to do to find it, but I'm going to do it. And um, I finally got him out of my system. Uh, unfortunately, we did get married, and uh, but the abuse, as a matter of fact, it escalated. Uh, but as I said, that bulb went off in my head, made the decision, enough is enough. And I believe that any woman, once she's gone through uh, abuse, uh, I don't care how much your friends may tell you, your family, your church members, co-workers, you know, if I were you, I would get out, I would do this and I would do that. You know, it's easier said than done. Uh, but I believe that once an individual who's been victimized get to that point where they say enough is enough, then they will make that decision. OK, I'm out of here. I'm going to make my life better because I know that I deserve better than this. But if they have to come to that decision. And that happened to me. And to God be the glory it is. We've had an opportunity to even to be able to even touch lives of those uh, in Afghanistan in uh, West Africa. Um, and it's just been wonderful because we when we first started, we didn't even have Internet. We didn't have all the social media that we have now. Uh, but God just graced us to be able to uh, communicate uh, one on one uh, mouth, you know, from mouth to mouth. People just sharing with one another by word of mouth. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, and so the word just got out. And so we were able just to, to touch so many lives of people. And I believe that in the years to come over the next five years, uh, Alabaster Place will be known in other states that we have not yet touched. Um, 
one of the things that we launched out in 2014 was the 5K Run for Diva. And so I believe because people are becoming more aware of domestic violence and, and then the, the run walk also includes persons who are interested in, in keeping themselves physically fit because I've been in a, a physical, physical fitness instructor for 25 plus years. And so this 5K will also uh, just be another tool that we can use to touch people across this country, across this nation, across this world, to let them know that domestic violence, it really is an issue, but with the help of those in Winston-Salem and Forsyth County and all of the counties and states in this country, nation, in this world, to let them know that we together, we pull together, we can eradicate this issue. And so I believe that in the years to come, the next five years, that God is going to allow us to be able to touch people across America. I, I, one thing I would like to say for anyone that has uh, experienced abuse, for someone that's being abused, or for someone that may be headed towards abuse, I want you to remember, first of all, that you are somebody special, that there is greatness in you. And the word of the Lord tells us in Psalms 139 and 14, that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are his works, and you should know this right well. So you do not deserve to be talked down to. You do not deserve to be beaten on in any shape, form, or fashion. And I say to those in the listening audience, if you need help, please give us a call. You may reach me at Alabaster Place. The number is area code 336-764-5133. And if you'd like to use email, please call, e email us at alabasterplace at gmail.com. Also, you can go on our website. It's alabasterplace-inc.org. We look forward to hearing from you real soon. Remember, you are somebody special.